Hey there. This is probably a mistake. I guess I'm vlogging again. I just released my second vlog in three days. It kind of feels like I've just re-entered the world. But there's something that feels good about it. I feel like it's all a distraction from my production. Towards my main goal. What's the damn, what's the damn point? Morning, Harry. All right. Got some dark vibes here at the maker space. Anyways. I've been overwhelmed with how much I'm trying to do. And I kind of came to realize that the one thing I've been missing on this journey is you. I was at the gym the other day. I saw somebody I hadn't seen in a long time and they had noticed that I had uploaded something for the first time in a long time and they seemed to really appreciate it. They said some things that were really nice. Like, we need this and you don't know how much your work is appreciated. And that's true. I really don't. Whenever I put something in and I've probably bitched about this several times, but when you feel really good about a video and then you get what you get from the algorithm and it completely takes an emotional shit on you and your work, it just makes you feel like your work doesn't matter. And that's really hard for someone who takes it personally. I work really hard for all this. So to hear somebody say that, and have another person just send a nice message, says, welcome back. Like, holy shit. People notice that I was gone and they're saying, thank you for coming back. You know who you are. Thank you. I don't want to stay disconnected because your support is very helpful. I want to be able to do both things. Keep my channel alive here and start my new channel. Welcome to Fingerdome, or welcome to Fingertown. Still deciding the lights off. Should I start a new channel? This is what I want to ask you. This is a test. Leave a comment, just humor me, especially if you know how this stuff works. My feeling is that you want to be very specific about the content that you're releasing if you want a successful YouTube channel. So if you're doing this and you're doing that and you're doing a whole variety of things, it's just not gonna work out really well for you. If you're looking for success, if you just wanna do it as a hobby, that's fine. So of course, aside from the vlog, I've done all kinds of random shit on here because I still wanna feel out what I wanna do. I don't like to question inspiration when it comes up, so I've done what I'm not supposed to do. And naturally, my channel hasn't blown up the skirt of views or subscriptions per se. When I start the finger play channel, the finger play channel, uh should it be a new should it be a new channel or should I just keep posting because I post a lot of videos and I have 150 subscribers after like two or three years am I gonna be starting this whole journey all over again leave a comment let me know your opinion and if you even know more about it send me that information too thank you the reason I say that I shot things is because I shot a lot of my setting up of the studio. I shot a lot of footage. I just chose not to edit. I want to release pieces of that. I don't want to get too carried away. My creation process is too slow. I get caught up applying details and I get lost in the weeds with it. And I need to learn how to allow things to be imperfect. So moving forward, good is better than perfect because good gets done. Perfect dies in a tomb. What a mess. So working on jobs is the way that I've been budgeting my films. Shit. Since 1993, my goal, hopefully by the end of this year, is to be getting money back for this. If you knew you could do what you love and make more than enough money to do what you want in life, if you knew if there was a contract, when you fulfilled your part of the contract, you would do anything for it, wouldn't you? You would do anything to get out of the matrix, wouldn't you? I need to stay connected to that. All right, we are here at State's Coffee. The person who I was working for today, who said she needed me at noon, now doesn't need me till one. Holy crap! Mr. Matt Petulo. Jason, what's up, my friend? I'm excited about the video. I love this place. I guess the vlog is back, at least for today. It's making me feel a little better about things. We are now here at State's Coffee, so 
Out of respect to the patrons here, I'm gonna shut the hell up and get to work. I just had like one of those moments where it kind of was like slow motion and I just felt happy. It's funny how you can have your brightest and bright moments after a dark, dark period, which I just came out of. It's been really nice talking with you and I think that's part of it. It's felt really good to reconnect. I'm gonna get to work now, right? That's what I'm gonna do. I said we're done, we're done. Done.